NASA says that Voyager 1 has become the first man-made object to reach interstellar space. Just eight minutes ago, Voyager transmitted a chilling message from deep space, one that left scientists stunned. Something was amiss, something they never saw coming. Now, the world watches in suspense. For nearly 50 years, Voyager has traveled beyond our solar system, revealing discoveries that reshaped our understanding of space. Stay tuned for the next transmission, a signal from the unknown. Back in the early 2010s, something odd happened. A space probe called IEX noticed a strange dimming of energy particles on the side facing the sun. That was already pretty weird, but when experts checked the data again, they realized things did not add up. The heliopause, the invisible border where the sun's influence stops, was not acting how it was supposed to. Models said one thing, but space was doing another. The edge of our solar system wasn't just shifting, it was breathing. Then came the real shocker. Voyager began detecting changes in the heliopause that defied logic. Both Voyager probes had crossed into interstellar space, one in 2012, the other in 2018, but their data didn't align. Scientists were baffled. Was the boundary moving? If so, what was causing it? There was no clear answer, and every theory only raised more questions. To unravel the mystery, NASA planned to launch an advanced new probe in 2025 designed to map space with greater precision than ever before. But Voyager was not done dropping surprises. Just when things seemed to be following some kind of pattern, a new anomaly appeared. Something that no one had predicted and something that raised the stakes for understanding deep space exploration. It was no longer just about cosmic maps. It was about finding out if humanity truly understood what lay beyond the protective layers of the sun's influence. In May 2023, Voyager 1 experienced an unexpected issue. Its Attitude Articulation and Control AAC system, responsible for maintaining smooth operations, began malfunctioning. Instead of transmitting its usual status updates, it sent back incomprehensible data, as if the spacecraft had suddenly lost its ability to communicate. Strangely, despite the garbled messages, everything else appeared normal. The signal remained strong. Voyager 1 stayed oriented toward Earth, and its scientific instruments continued functioning properly. It was as if a robot had started speaking gibberish while still performing its tasks flawlessly. NASA took this very seriously. They called an emergency meeting to figure out what had gone wrong. Nothing made sense. Why would the ACS start using a computer that had been shut down for over three years? And even stranger, the fail-safe system that was supposed to put Voyager into safe mode did not activate. It was like the spacecraft was ignoring its own rules. The issue was unprecedented. For decades, Voyager had reliably transmitted signals, with its gradual aging and occasional minor glitches well within expectations. However, this was something entirely different. After nearly 50 years in deep space, the spacecraft suddenly behaved as though it had received commands from an unknown source. There was no clear cause, no identifiable event that could have triggered the anomaly, and no way to determine whether it would happen again. Luckily, NASA engineers found the problem. They sent a command telling Voyager to switch back to the right computer, and just like that, the gibberish stopped. Crisis avoided, at least for now. But the real question remained. Why did this happen in the first place? The best guess? Voyager, one might have received a messed up command from another computer on board. NASA said it was not a huge threat, but when a 46-year-old spacecraft suddenly starts behaving weirdly with no explanation, that is not something to be ignored. Scientists knew that this could not be brushed off as a simple glitch because deep space is full of unknowns, and every unexpected event could mean a much larger underlying mystery waiting to be uncovered. Voyager has ventured far beyond the protective boundary of the sun's magnetic field. It now drifts through the vast unknown, constantly bombarded by high-energy cosmic rays. Perhaps one of these rays disrupted its system. Maybe its aging electronics are simply failing. Or perhaps, just perhaps, something out there doesn't want Voyager to reveal what it's witnessing.
Susan Dodd, the person in charge of the Voyager mission, admitted that this spacecraft has already lasted way longer than anyone thought possible. It has defied the odds, ventured further than anything else, and kept working when all logic said it should not. What led the AACS to change systems in the first place? They believe Voyager may first have received an inappropriate command from another onboard computer. NASA says that it is not a serious threat, yet. The route is crucial to avoiding future uncertainties. This event serves as a snapshot of the challenges faced by Voyagers in their interstellar journey. No longer shielded by the sun's magnetic field, it is now exposed to an increasingly hostile radiation environment. High-energy particles, like cosmic rays that can disrupt computer chips on Earth, may introduce errors that accumulate over time, potentially impacting Voyager's onboard systems. Susan Dodd, the project manager for both Voyager missions, noted that the mysteries surrounding this spacecraft align with its current stage of exploration. These aging probes have far surpassed their expected lifespan, accomplishing more than ever imagined and venturing into uncharted territory. Voyager 1 made groundbreaking discoveries and also amazed scientists by making a peculiar discovery, a faint humming sound coming from the near-empty expanse of interstellar space. It's a peculiar sound connected to the slightest whiff of gas and a tantalizing teaser from the unexplored unknown. Scientists are compiling a better idea of our sun and its relation to the immense ocean of space by adding Voyager data to other missions. Since the launch of the Voyager missions nearly half a century ago, they have been humanity's faithful explorers, using their eyes and ears to peer far into the depths of the cosmic wilderness to learn about the sun's influence on the whole solar system. Nicola Fox, director of NASA's Heliophysics Division, aptly described their impact. The Voyagers have collected basic information about the sun and its effects on the solar system that none of the other spacecraft can. Fueled by plutonium-powered generators, these pioneering probes have journeyed through the relentless passage of time. This presents a unique challenge, as the gradual decay of plutonium leads to a steady decline in energy output. To conserve power, NASA engineers have systematically shut down non-essential systems over time. Instrument heaters, once deemed necessary, were later considered expendable, despite their role in protecting equipment from the extreme cold of space. Remarkably, all five instruments on both Voyager probes continue to function as intended, enduring temperatures far below their original design limits, leaving scientists astonished. When the heaters were deactivated in 2019, their voyage reshaped our understanding of the sun's reach within the solar system. The heliopause lies at the outermost limit, where the sun's domain becomes the interstellar medium's emptiness. It was once conceived as a convenient, smooth, and static shield. But then there's the Voyager's and NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer spacecraft data, which paints a very different picture. So it seems that the heliopause is anything but peaceful. It shifts and changes shape, even giving rise to unexpected angles, while its frontier is more fluid than ever. Since its discovery, the heliopause has been the object of scientists' attention, but like a cunning astronomical chameleon, it continues to defy expectations. It refuses to be confined to a single definition. Its appearance and characteristics shift with the seasons and even the clouds. Its dynamic and independent nature challenges our understanding of the natural world. Only two daring explorers, the Voyager spacecraft, have provided humanity with a direct glimpse of this cosmic boundary across space and time. However, as space physicist Eric Zernstein from Princeton University aptly notes, IEX contributes valuable data, expanding our perspective through its observations of energetic neutral atoms products of the interaction between solar winds and the interstellar medium. By combining these insights, scientists are working to create models that illustrate the ever-evolving shape of the heliopause. They envision a cosmic tug-of-war, where the solar wind and the interstellar medium continuously push and pull, shaping this celestial boundary in an endless dance of forces. The Voyager mission was about more than just observation. It was a journey into the very essence of our solar system. As the probes ventured outward, they measured the solar wind and the electric current stretching like delicate, spindly arms, encircling the planets 
in a vast cosmic gyroscope. These invisible lines define the sun's reach, marking the boundaries of the heliosphere, the protective shield that separates us from the interstellar void. Yet, on the brink of this cosmic threshold, Voyager detected an eerie whisper, a faint hum of interstellar plasma, hinting at the mysteries beyond.